Yar. Subscribe to me channel, or me and Lloyd will make you walk the plank. What do you think, no? Yar. Subscribe to me channel, or we'll send you down to Davy Jones' locker. No. Subscribe to me channel, or I'll give you a peg leg to the head. Yeah, that was really bad. Subscribe to me channel. Oh, just, could you please, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel because I cook some great things and, and, and Lloyd is cute. So please, uh, subscribe to my channel. Yar. So today, my friends, we'll be making Brent Black and Lloyd's Pirate Stew. It's really just called Fisherman's Pot, but I thought it'd be cool to give it a name that really means something to Lloyd and I. Lloyd. What are you doing? Lloyd. 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 Okay, uh, for this recipe, fairly simple. You're gonna need uh, a lot of different kinds of seafood. Whatever you like, really, it's kind of up to you. I've got shrimp, I've got some white fish. This is salmon, of course, and these are mussels. If you want, you can add squid. If you like eating rubber bands, whatever your favorite seafood is, for the most part, can go into this. This is so good, it's delicious, and it's fast. You're gonna love it. A couple more things you'll need. You'll need some fresh rosemary, some red chili flakes. This is cilantro, olive oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Uh, a big old potato or a couple of a couple of medium-sized ones. Uh, you need some uh, peeled tomatoes um, and yar because this be a dry pirate ship. We're having grape juice, about three quarters of a cup of grape juice. Let's go and cook. <laughs> now you start by uh, separating the beak from the no. Okay. All right. Cutting board is relatively clean. I totally forgot. I didn't mention my brown onion. We're gonna dice this. Um, I don't usually put celery in this recipe, but you know what? I have it, so whatevs. We'll dice that up too. And three cloves of garlic, we're gonna put that into a garlic press. So it's really important, just prep everything you need to prep first, so you don't have to go back and start cutting. All right, you got that. You also have to deal with this gigantic potato. You need to cube this thing. Um, relatively small cubes, so it cooks quickly and evenly. Why you be laughing at me, Lloyd? A lot of people don't know this, pirates used to have parrots because they were so annoying <laughs> that they could deal with anything in life since they had a parrot, you know? It could, it could really pretty much put up with anything. Next big old pot, about two or three tablespoons of olive oil, medium high heat. Feel free while your oil is getting hot to stroke your parrot. All right, that is hot, so we're gonna add our potatoes, our onions, and our celery. Don't forget, you <laughs> must salt and pepper. I know, Lloyd, I'm telling them right now, you gotta salt and pepper. This one's for the ladies. Every woman will be impressed if you show them that you own a garlic press. I wanna put some garlic in this, and I'm gonna press it. Are you impressed? So anyway, <laughs> three garlic, three garlic <laughs> cloves, please press them. In. Get that in there. Sorry. Lloyd finds sauteing very funny. <laughs> Cook these down until your onion and celery are pretty clear-ish. Is it a bad time to tell you I forgot you need two cans of chopped tomatoes? Because you need two cans of chopped tomatoes, just saying. Go back to the grocery store right now. About two sprigs of rosemary. Looks like it's something I took off the Christmas tree, but we're gonna eat it. Make sure you dice it up nice and finely and add it to the pot. Add that in. <laughs> You'll also wanna do about a quarter cup why am I using this like a puppet? Hi, I'm cilantro. You need a cup of me. Some people use parsley instead of cilantro for this recipe. Those people are not allowed in my home. All right, so we're getting uh, getting pretty crusty here, so we need to add some liquid. We're gonna add not one, but two cans, chopped tomatoes. Also, this is a good time to add about a teaspoon of all-purpose flour. Turn it down to sort of medium heat. Add two cups of water and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Yar. While we be waiting for the stew to be stewing, let's have some dirty pirate jokes. Why don't pirates go to nightclubs? They already have all the booty. Yar. That's pretty good. Why does it take a pirate so long to learn the alphabet? Because they can spend years at sea. That's not dirty. What kind of grades did the pirate get in school? High C's. That, no, that wasn't great. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, 
they'd be bagels. Why do young pirates always fail when saying the alphabet because their father insists there are seven C's? Okay, I, I think that's enough C jokes. Did you hear about the pirate's parrot that fell in love with a duck? The bird kept saying, Polly wants a quacker. <laughs> that's for you. Lloyd, Lloyd, I don't, how did pirates, how did pirates get along with parrots? What has 12 arms, 12 legs, and 12 eyes? A dozen pirates. Oh, I get it, because 12 pirates only have 12 eyes, arms, and legs. I don't think they're really great if you have to explain them. Hey, hey, do you think Blackbeard ever put up with this? I bet Johnny Depp never had to deal with parrots like you. I bet he worked with professionals. Did you see the pirate movie? It was rated R. All right, I think that's enough. Back to the pot. Um, remember our fish? Uh, you can see I have cut up our white fish and our salmon into nice bite-sized pieces. And more shrimp. I like shrimp. And the mussels. I like mussels too. Uh, give it a nice stir. Now be careful. Seafood will overcook if you breathe on it too long. Uh, it should just take a few minutes and then you will have some amazing pirate stew. And yes, I had to change my shirt because Lloyd pooped on me. That happens three, four times a day. And that is looking so good. Just watch your shrimp. When you see that the shrimp are nice and pink, it's done. Thar she blows me mateys. Eat hearty tonight for tomorrow. We set sail for the high seas. Uh, that is Brent Black and Lloyd's pirate stew. It is delicious. Now go eat it.